working on next is named Brother Love, and he's quite a character. He's a musician. He's got really big hair. Ooh. Hey, baby. Mwah. He Hello. keeps trying to kiss me I all the time, don't and I don't try, know why. I do. I don't try. I do. Man, man, man. Man, man, man. So, tell me a little bit about yourself, Brother Love. Brother Love from New York City. Um, I'm a pot safe music artist, as are you, and uh, singer songwriter, drummer. Well, it's your own music, right? Right, so. it's all my own music, yeah. Right, right? so it, even if it wasn't. Like even if you were signed, it would still be pod safe. It'd be pod safe because I say it's so. Right, because yeah. it's your music. I say it's so, it's so, it's so it exactly. is. Absolutely, okay. yeah. From, yeah, and uh, we're gigging around town. We're out here at the expo, just meeting everybody, finally shaking hands, meeting people that uh, that have been playing my songs, and meeting people that I've listened to their podcasts. Yeah, it's wild. It's really and it's wild. so funny because we walk around and it's like you hear somebody's voice and you say, "Yeah, I know that voice." That's the Sea Dog. That's a top ten guy. Okay, right, that's right. CC Chapman. Yeah, oh yeah. my God! And the everybody. The podcast four one one was the one that happened to me with first. Right. I heard. His, I heard. Hey, soccer girl, come here. And I was like, that's Rob, uh, but he doesn't look anything like what he thought he would look like. And I was thinking about this the other day, and I can't remember if I talked about it on my show or not, but it's really interesting to me how I've become my my like attraction to people and mm -hmm. interest in meeting people has become so much more based on audio than on actual like physical contacts with them. Which We're oral, not it's visual. It's strange. Yeah. I mean, it's cool, though. I really like it. Because then the like physical characteristics of those people becomes a lot less important because I already get to know them a little bit before I ever yeah. meet them. Mm -hmm. And um, a lot of them are hot anyway, like uh -huh. you. Oh, thank you. Well, everybody here thought I was going to be taller. They said, oh, I saw your picture on the on the, the, the Pod Save Music. I go to your website, and I meet you. And, I, you know, I'm, I'm, and you you're know, this little guy. I'm, the little, I'm not a little guy. No, I'm, I'm a medium just, guy. You're medium. I'm a medium-sized guy. Yeah, yeah everybody. Good soccer girl. Hi. Everybody. Woo! At the Pod State Expo. So well, it's Brother Love. You know, come on now. I mean, yeah, I guess your name kind of says it all. Come on. I guess so, I should have expected it, huh? Exactly. Well, I didn't know what to expect when I was going to meet you, and you far exceeded my expectations. Oh, you're so sweet. Oh, thank you very much. I well, yeah, people it. have been saying to me, you know, of course, I'm meeting all these people I've only talked to online, as I was saying, and I've never seen a lot of their pictures. A lot of people are shy about putting their pictures on their websites, which is interesting and fine. But, um, but they have, of course, all seen my picture if they know who I am. And, yeah. And my pictures are, you know, revealing and such. And we'll call so, it art. So, so I feel like uh, I've had a lot of people say, you look just like your pictures, which it seems like a very strange thing to say to somebody. But I, I mean, I guess some people don't really photograph well or something. But. Some people don't. But part of you is, you can see that it's. Yes, from the. Uh, I mean, it, the it is what it is. It is, I don't absolutely. Know. <laughs> so, Rhino, how long have you been doing your, your podcast? Since, uh, say, the beginning of April. Right on. Yeah. Pretty, a long while. It feels like a long time. Right on. It also feels like a long time because it's happened so quickly and it's mm -hmm. gotten big so fast. And it's also very strange because nobody at, at home really knows anything about it. And so right. there's a, the big disconnect between my everyday regular life and my podcasting life. Right. And this is kind of. Um, it's good to be a rock star, isn't it? Yeah, man. <laughs> I got a little freaked out about that little kid, Robbie. He's yeah. only 14. He's 14. He's like, he, like he owns a place. He's like, have you yes. seen Drew? Where's Drew? I'm looking for Drew. And I was like, sir, shoe shine? Can I help you out? What can I get for yeah, you? Yeah, and yeah. I'm like, why are you bossing me around? You're a little kid. And it, CC Chapman, I, I think it was, was telling me that he came up to him and he said, uh, hey, uh, buddy, uh, can you get me a uh, meeting with Adam? Amazing, <laughs> like that, right? That kid's got balls, man. He's got balls, that's he's right. He's got a future. Oh, absolutely. I dig it. Yep. I dig I think he's gonna be. Kids. I think he's going to be signing all our checks in a few years somehow. He's I gonna, hope he's so. He's going to own our asses. I, I don't want to, well. No. I, I'm not even going to start talking no, about no, that. No, that's I don't want to go to jail. But you're going to be on my show, my new show, which I appreciate. Yeah. May I plug it? Plug Brother it. Love Notes, right? That's the Brother Love uh, sort of podcast about the life of Brother Love. So, it's uh, once a month? It's once, once a month. We did a couple of, we were on our third one, and we're doing it at the expo, and we had a great interview with you. And we're, I'm so psyched because we're going to have you reading some some of your, your stories. And, yeah, I'm excited about and that. And that's going to be very cool. This is going to be something new for me. So um, I feel like a talk show host, which is very exciting, yeah, as you do. That's going to be something cool That's going to be something I, very uh, cool for me. It's going to be because to you hear have you. A, do you have a, a, a witty anecdote to share with me that will make the audience laugh and giggle and will endear you to them? I, I might. I think when you've I, already endeared yourself. Uh, okay, thank you so much. Well, just meeting you was, was quite funny, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, yes, we, we have a funny I story. I hope I can tell it right. They were testing it out. Okay. Right. <laughs> so, Brother Love, last night, gave me his card. And he's got a fancy plastic card that looks like it was expensive. And I said, God, your card is awesome. I don't have the capital for cards like that. You know, my cards are ghetto. I made them on my printer. Good job for you. And, uh... 
And he said, oh, no, no, well, I go to this place all the time, and they make postcards for me, you know, and they sort of gave me a deal because they got this new equipment. And there you have it. And while he was uh, telling me this story, he was looking at my boobs. And he said, so, so yeah, they got this new equipment, and I, I asked them if they'd make some cards for me, and, you know, they were just chesting it out. <laughs> <laughs> and she said, did you just say chesting? Did you just say chesting? And, and normally, I would have... I, I couldn't disappear into the floor <laughs> fast enough. I mean, I was so embarrassed. I was like, "No, it was hilarious." Oh, but it, though, it was hilarious because of your wonderful personality to say oh, that was hilarious. Well, but so many be, women would be like, "I can't believe you just yeah, said so that." So many women would walk God. around with their boobs out all the time. I That's mean, come true. on, well, I respect I it and I love it. All right. I cultivate that kind of um, attention. I, I guess. It. That's why you're like a magnet. That's why we do like we do like this. Anyway, so now we're back. Yeah. At the podcast. If talk Expo, shows were like this, I would watch a lot more of them, I must say. Exactly. But I don't think I'd like to see Jay Leno hugging up on anybody. No? No, I don't think so. Well, some people might. Yeah, Dave Letterman, because I think that'd be kind of funny. Yeah, he's cute. And Conan O'Brien's kind of cute. I got it. I have a crush on Conan O'Brien. Will you put that in the documentary? Also on Jack Black. I would like to meet both of them. Jack Black? Anytime, I will pretty much do anything they want within reason. But lots of things. Please, please, please. <laughs> So what's next for your what's what's next for uh, for you? God, I don't know. Well, oh, first I should say my show is called. <laughs> I like plug your show, plug your show. I'm so selfless, you know. Soccer Girl Incorporated, SoccerGirlIncorporated.com. Awesome. Yeah, check it out. Um, so what's next? I don't know. I really don't know. I've been just sort of going with the flow as I roll it, you know, yep. as it goes, and and also like, you know, seeing how people receive various projects, what they like, what they don't like. And then, like, sort of, you know, addending my plans, amending my plans from there. So, I really have no idea. I'm really into this video thing, though. That's the new thing. We're getting ready to gear up and shoot some video. I'm sure you're going to be shooting. Who's loud? Crap. Crap. That's a really, that stereo system. Am I allowed to say this? They're here at this expo. Their, their stereo system sounds like garbage. We have, we have Brother Love playing on thoughtout.biz over here. Their stereo system sounds awesome. And I'm not just plugging it because they're playing my music. Oh, of course not. But listen to this. That's like, get it. That's like, a, like a bad... It's kind of pump and bass, it's though. Pump I can and bass, feel it. But I you like can't that. feel it like good. It doesn't like get you right hey. here like good like that. Watch it. I'm oh, sorry. I'm not sorry. <laughs> I'm not sorry. <laughs> you are, you're unbelievable. You're turning red, though. Look how nice and, look how nice and blushing she's getting. This is a do- this is a documentary. Like she's turning I'm not red. Turning red. As we, yes, it's you just are. because You're this is red. red. Yeah, turning red. She's turning, she's turning red. Well, what do you moment. expect? Stop touching right. my butt. All right, I'll stop. You. Hey, since you're taking my time slot here, ask him these. Oh, oh you, I'm sorry. You this is your time slot. No, no, I'm out. You keep going with doing what you guys are doing. No, no, I'm, I'm going to go. You do your thing. Shit. So you interview him. You do okay. these. Are you sure? You can be on if you want. Oh, I know this. No, no, just do it. What's All right, all right. Greg's podcast is called Five Questions. Five, five questions. questions. Which I would, and it's a number five, right? I, apo- number five. I number apologize. Number five questions no, 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 not I, written out. I never I emailed you, you back with the five man. questions. No, I, I, yeah, I was supposed to do that. I All did. Right. I'm better than you. Anyway, <laughs> yes, you are. Well, now you're going to do it now. All right, let's go. Maybe I'll think of an answer for that one that I postponed oh, answering before. Just okay. interview and get on with it. So, please. number one. You're touching my leg. I can see it. So oh, can sorry. they. I'm, I don't know if they can, but stop it. Go on. That's for later. All right, one. What is the number one item on your holiday list this year? Hanging out with you. Number two. If a one-year period of your life were to be published, which year would you choose and why? The year starting now, because I'm going to hang out with you. Number three. (laughs) Could you spend 10 days in complete silence? I doubt it. I doubt it. Why and why not? Because we'd be having a lot of fun for 10 days, and there'd be no silence. Next question. Oh, my God. Four. Checking Connecticut app. If you could be the first to do something, what would it be? You. <laughs> Come on, dude. You're so predictable. Five. From Doug at Geek Acres. This is the one, or no, number four was the one I couldn't answer. I still don't have an answer for it. If you could do something, that's not too wrong. If you could do something, what? No, nothing. It's just he asked me these before and I couldn't answer number four. Well, what was number five? Number five. You're looking at it. From Doug at Geek Acres. If, of all the cars you have ever owned, which one was your favorite and why? I'd like to see how you're going to make this about me. Yeah, 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 I agree. I'm, I'm your gonna... lovely buttocks. Because it is not a ride, car. Well, it's something we can, or I can perhaps ride and enjoy and have a great time. There's that. I answered it, right? Shocked. All right, I'm out. I'm Ladies and gentlemen. So 
Mwah. That's soccer girl, I'm brother love. Thank you so much. Damn. All right, I've just been molested by brother love. I can't say I didn't like it. Kinda liked it. Although, he's awfully forward and he's... Now you're turning red now that you're off the camera. I am very, very red. <laughs> Yo, podcast pickle rock. Dad, I don't know what to say now. See?